I'm feeling overwhelmed by everything. I just... Sometimes I feel like Wonder Woman and sometimes I feel the far opposite. Every time I'm back here, I'm like, damn, I guess I do kind of miss the city. <laughs> I guess because I just spent so many years here and I have like so many memories here, still so many friends and all of it. But I'm here for a very exciting weekend because we are going to be doing like a holiday pop up with a cafe called The Elk. They currently serve Nekohama, and this weekend we're gonna do a vegan matcha hot chocolate. And guys, this is going to be so delicious. We did so many recipe testing at home. It's basically our matcha chocolate and oat milk. It is just incredible. It's so delicious. Anyway, that's what we're doing on Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday, I'm gonna do my very first Soul Sync body event, just with a couple of friends, like some models from New York. We're gonna go to this gorgeous like wellness space and then after we're gonna have a nice brunch at Isle of Us. It's a new spot here in New York or friend opened it up. Everything is like farm food table. It's really cool. The concept is amazing. So a lot happening. I'm going to take a shower because I feel disgusting and then I need to go immediately to the location because we need to set up a little bit today. Probably gonna call it a night very early. Max is gonna come too and I'll take you guys with in my new literally within the first day i get pimples my skin feels so clear lately and every time i'm given in new york a pimple comes up anyway i really need to put myself together to the gym so I have a quick little moment before we're heading out and starting our day honestly for me my routines even when I'm traveling is so important and I wanted to share about you getting through holidays winter all of that because I immediately notice when I go to places as New York in winter my immunity is so freaking vulnerable my parents even like always joked as a kid because obviously i grew up in Zimbabwe, but they were like wow you're definitely gonna live in like a warm country because whenever we were in a cold place i would always get sick there are a couple tools that i use and do to do this kind of for my mental health <laughs> I still keep my journal with me even when I'm traveling. It just like helps me clear out my mind. And then I also take my seed symbiotic, which is a prebiotic and probiotic in one formula everywhere I go. People really underestimate the connection between immunity and your gut health and your microbiome. Basically, it's really important 
to take care of your gut in order to stay immune for the colds and like all of that what comes with winters there are a couple things that you can do at home with like small little lifestyle changes one of them is to intake more fibers fibers help Ooh help support the gut health. Prioritizing sleep. Guys, I cannot tell you enough how important this is. Sleeping is my hobby and as soon as I have a lack of sleep, that's when I catch a cold. It is so important for your body to stay in this same rhythm, which your microbiome actually has to. And then obviously minimize stress. And I know all of these things, they seem so simple, but throughout the holidays can be really, really tough. So that's why I always make sure to take my seat. So I know I'm supporting my gut health. I know I'm supporting my immunity and that just gets me through the winter. Seed actually gave me a 25% discount code that I can extend to you guys and this is very limited. It is SANA25 for 25% off. If you are looking at this video a little bit later, then don't worry, there will be a 15% discount code applied. So if you want to get 25, definitely head over there quickly. I will link it down below, you can go check it out. Um, yeah, and get started. Alrighty little journal and I gotta go. Um, my hair and makeup ready. I'm wearing Christmas sweater. I got this one last Oh no, in January? Last January. I think it was from Revolve. It was from our trip in Amanjiri and I actually think it's really freaking cute we're gonna walk over to the pop-up space it is gorgeous outside look at our view guys how yeah, pretty so yeah i am very excited to be making tons of vegan matcha chocolate today also i showed you guys the bag i got and look i exchanged it for the black one i thought the white was really not a good idea because i'm gonna make it dirty within a second so i really really like this black bag so cute okay let's go Okay guys, we just arrived here at the Elk. Here's our little pop-up. It is so cute. We just set up. Let us, we have people in there. here for a second that was so much fun that was really really amazing we had so many people come by try the hot chocolate all the response was really amazing everyone just like loved it so i'm very happy with that i am freezing 
we're just like packing up right here we have almost all our boxes packed and jesse and i are just going to grab some food because it's like 3 30 and we still haven't had lunch yet and then i'm going to prepare my workout that i am doing tomorrow on our sourcing body event there were actually a lot of people today who told me about this space so i'm really excited to go there tomorrow but yeah that's it this was so much fun such as a big success i feel we should do this really more often and the most fun for me too was that there were so many people here who you know followed me or like seen the new york vlogs and things like that so it was really fun to kind of reconnect and do this so yeah i think we should do this in different cities and different places hungry hungry <laughs> hungry starving okay let's go How are we feeling? So tired. <laughs> Guys, we're dead. So I always try to bring you guys along on like whatever I'm doing. Sometimes on the days that I am feeling really low or when I'm not feeling good or I'm having a really bad day. Those are often the days that I also can bring myself up to filming. But today I just woke up so freaking anxious. I just feel I am getting more like travel anxiety and just an overwhelmed feeling. Obviously we came in New York. We had like three events in a row, which were so much fun. And I now out of the blue have to fly to North Carolina for a modeling job. And then I go to Holland and I just, I don't know. It's just like the schedule changes. It's like me trying to do too much in a short little time. I'm feeling overwhelmed by everything. I just, this is the first time ever honestly that I'm filming this thing like this because in a way I do feel that many of you are going through these moments too whenever that is and sometimes there's not even a specific feeling it's just like a freaking pressure on my chest like anxious feeling and I just like I just want to ball I just want to cry and all I need to do is just take a couple deep breaths I am so grateful to be flying and to do the modeling job and then you know, go home for a little. But it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I was just telling Max, I'm like, sometimes I feel like Wonder Woman and sometimes I feel the far opposite. <sighs> Alrighty. I just want to share. I'm good to refix my makeup and get this day, get this day started. Alright. I'm all ready to go and I'm nervous. Thank you so much. All right, here we are. Woo! Sorry, I forgot. Uh, thank you. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. It feels so zen in here in the middle of New York City. This is our room. We got the mats ready. And this is gonna be the workout space, so I'm very excited. Jesse, my ride and dies, helping with our cute little gift bags. So we're here, have all of us, and then in here we have little gift cards. We're gonna have some Nikohama chocolate, a little Spice mix, so cute. Okay, guys, we are in our space. We're at Sage and Sound. It's like this is our like meditation room. But today we're gonna do some Pilates. All the girls came. We got our cute day drill set, which are my absolute favorite. And yeah, we're gonna do a fun little workout. So we're at the brunch. So let's get started. 
fun to have some of my friends there and then just being able to be in that space move together connect together um it almost felt like you weren't really in new york it was like just this very separated space and then after we had just like insane lunch which was like all farm to table i really sometimes think like there are sometimes restaurants like that kind of like missing in new york like very like health focused but if you are visiting new york there are a couple restaurants that i really love one of them is Isle of Us, 100% right now. That's what you saw earlier. I really like ABC or ABC Fee. Uh, Jack's by Frida is always a really nice spot to go to. And then... And then my battery died for my camera. So I'm playing on my phone. Another of my favorite restaurants is... I like Le Botanis. It's nice for a quick little takeaway. And I think that's kind of it. Anyway. I am going to meet up with Max. We're just gonna grab a matcha, kind of get chilled a little bit, and then um, we'll be flying out for a shoot. So, it's a lot of fun. 